Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, Bitcoin has reached the 60K level again, um, struggling currently with a possible breakout. Ethereum has also pushed a little higher, but we are far away from forming the next five wave pattern. The last two support levels are still holding. They weren't even touched. So, I mean, okay, this one was already um, reached earlier. But obviously we were looking if it um, might be tested again in the yellow count. That's still, that's still a risk, but it doesn't need to be tested. The yellow wave count gives us the short term bearish interpretation, which just keeps us on our toes. The white wave count shows what's needed for a first confirmation of an upside, let's say an upside breakout or for the first confirmation that a more substantial low has formed here on the 15th of August. So let's maybe start with the short term bearish scenario, which is the yellow one in which we're dealing with. And again, also here, this might change and morph because we're not dealing with impulsive structures. We're just dealing with messy corrective structures. Um, but let's talk about the short term bearish count. Short term bearish would be come more likely with a break below the last swing low. That's today's intraday low, I think it is. Yeah, uh, which formed, yep, which formed at around 2596. Why is this important? Because a break below it will invalidate the white microstructure. White is short term bullish. But let's first talk about short term bearish. All I want to share with you if we break below this level, try to keep it simple, then the yellow wave count will become more likely. At the moment, the white count seems to be leading because the short term trend is up, but the yellow count is absolutely still valid, highly likely. And, and that's the case because we're dealing with corrective structures to the downside, corrective structures to the upside, lots of indecision in the market. That's precisely what Elliott Wave is telling us as well. I mean, it's quite clear that there's a lot of indecision. Just look at the altcoins, how they are suffering. Just look at the nervousness in the market since the 5th of August low, you know, this sort of mini crash. And the market is just undecided, you know, wherever you go, people tell you that. And it is the case. We just need to be very mindful that this could mean lots of choppy sideways action or up and down mm, in, you know, indecisive movements, just because the market hasn't fully made up its mind yet. It's very, very important. So anyway, short term bearish count. Yep more likely with a break below that last swing low. We have a resistance area for this wave count, just three FIP levels to the upside that are worth watching if we push higher. 2,677, 2,722 and 2,750. Crucial because any push higher here would mean that we're just forming a larger three wave move and it could simply be the B wave. In this short term bearish count, we're dealing with a large ABC structure here. So A wave, B wave, C wave in a larger third wave. So that's still keeping the door open overall for higher prices. But in this short term bearish count, we are first watching if the lower support region will be tested again, which is defined between 2,500 and $2,400 pretty much. Yeah. So the risk for a test of support is high. That's all it means. And it will be confirmed further with a break below the intraday low. Just be aware of this structure um, that would not be overall bearish, not yet at least. Of course, it would become more bearish then with a break below 2394, which is the 78.6 um, retracement there of the larger structure. So that would be even more bearish, but we're not even we're not even there yet. We're not even in the support area yet. So in this video, we don't want to talk about all the scenarios. We just want to talk about what's relevant right now and I gave you a resistance area. I gave you a downside level that, um, yeah, if triggered will increase the likelihood for the yellow count. But obviously that would need to be confirmed further with a break below the Thursday low, which was at 2,520. That's short term bearish. And then from here, from this support region, the market could still try another rally. In the white scenario, the white count is the short term bullish one. I haven't labeled the whole thing. But it would basically mean that this B wave bottomed here already uh, in August, 15th of August. Yeah. And we are moving up in what could be already the next five wave pattern to the upside. In this case, we're already in the yellow C wave to the upside. 
But to get more evidence for that, to collect the evidence, we need five waves up. Clearly, at the moment, the rally is only in three waves, but we need five. So the roadmap here shows you what we need to see for five waves. And the next step, we need to see this wave C of three push higher to minimally $2,712 or call it $2,710 yeah, plus minus a few dollars depending on the exchange. But that would be the next level minimum target for a third wave for me is the 1.38 extension, which needs to be reached in order to, yeah, give us some more clarity that the white count is actually unfolding. Then another four or five pattern would confirm this further, but we just need those five waves, ideally above resistance. So ideally above 2,750, but obviously the five waves are key because a B wave in the yellow scenario cannot be a five wave move. So we're watching for that today. And overall, also a break above the yellow X wave high at 2,780 would increase the likelihood for the white count. And white seems to be in control as long as we're holding the intraday low. Once we get to the 1.38 extension at 2,712, if we get there, I will add a support zone, micro support for the white wave four, which I will then communicate on Discord first to our gold members and then probably tomorrow in the next video as well, uh, depending on, you know, if we get there, we're not even there yet. So, but at least we see some upside today. Um, but overall, it has been very choppy price action only on the weekend. Uh, Bitcoin as well. Yep, it put, been pushing a bit higher, but no major moves at the moment. But it could, it could get really interesting towards the end of the weekly candle. That's the update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.